Hey everybody, it's Shrewboy313 and welcome back to Always Sometimes. In the last episode, we stole from the developers of the game and got murdered, so we accidentally ended the game there. And we ended up sleeping outside and for some reason we're now in this bedroom, so um, I guess the only thing I can do would be to investigate it, seeing as I can't open the menu to save the game. This is Keith's Lucky Family Flashlight. Take it, why not? I take, took the Lucky Flashlight. Um, so, oh wow, you can walk on the bed. So, <laughs> great game. I've got no reflection, even better. Um, is this typewriter or anything? Ooh, looks like someone left money for me. Oh good, free $20. Oh, I've not been kidnapped, have I? This doesn't look like my... This doesn't look like anything good. I think... Oh, I think this may be like a dream or a flashback. Is that you? I'm out on the balcony. Well, look who's an early riser this morning. Are you okay? Did you sleep alright? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I'd sleep better if you didn't snore so much. Oh, grumpy pants. I'm sorry. It's not even that early, though. Most people in this world get up before noon. You know, so they can go to work. Ugh, oh, don't start me on, on that already. Your dad already gave me an earful last night. Oh, relax, Matthew. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Dad's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon. Don't stress out. Right, and once it does, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown and start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. I know, me too, but what else can you do, though? Just relax and take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. That sounds like I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're right, I'm ready for this. Everything is gonna work out fine. One day we'll look back on this and laugh. That's the spirit. Now give me a kiss you before you get coffee breath. There's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. If that's a weird that's one weird way of saying I love you, go get coffee. Um so I'm guessing this is like a dream or a flashback to something. Wow, I'm glad I, I'm glad I went in there. Um, but I'm guessing it is like a dream or a flashback. So, um, good morning, Casey. Good morning, Matthew. Do you know what happened to the sausages I left in here the other day? I, why would you leave sausage? Why would you leave food out overnight? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Um. I don't know. I've got no idea. Well, somebody ate them and it wasn't me. I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? It's a military base. I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Is he gonna die? Once we figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings are at the poles are so strange lately, I'll be home in no time. Do me a favour and help out Keith. I don't want to thaw out in a messy house. Are you sure you're up for the Antarctica? It's really dangerous out there. Ah, don't be such a ninny. I faced a lot worse... A lot worse than... You just keep your head in that book of yours. I really hope that contract you've been waiting on will come back before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, Matthew. Okay, goodbye. Keith, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a sec. Well, he's gonna leave without him. I gotta go. They're waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Is his wife dead? Is everyone dead? Dad? Wait, I'm here. You look literally no different. You left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, your dad's a tough son of a bitch, he'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right, everything's gonna be okay. Well, I gotta get to work before I'm late. You be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you, love you too. Okay. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. So I'm guessing it puts us in front of this phone. Just because. Um, I don't feel like eating. Um, can I save the game yet? No. Oh, something's happening. Well, I was going to raid the place, but... You know, screw that, I'm going to ra go raid the place. Um, 
I wonder if my contract showed up in the mail. I'm too excited to what? Oh, okay then. So I'm guessing I can't do anything unless I look at this. So this seems like it's either a dream or just like some flashback to before we moved, before we became homeless. Hmm, what do we have here? Hooray, free, well not free pizza, but a pizza coupon. Hmm, San Verdano pizza. This is it. <gasps> Gasp, surprise contract. Generic brown envelope. Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here. Downstairs. Well, I'm glad it moved us. I'm glad it told us we were downstairs. Even though we didn't go anywhere. Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explained. It's just that we're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole, peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand. Sam's your partner, but the fact that you guys are upstairs. Hold on, I need something going on outside. I need to shut my window. Right, Sam's your partner, but the facts are that you, the guys upstairs, only like your pieces. Times are getting tough too. You know, business ain't what it used to be. They don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we sent it and always will. We'll fund you for the next six months so you can finish what you started, then we'll go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great. As long as, then take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once those papers are signed. Then I get the wife off my back and we can go for celery drink. I'll, I'm buying. That sounds, um, um, swell. All right. I'll wait for your call. Speak with you soon. Could I at least read it first? Am I not going to find out what it is other than... Um, this is everything I wanted, right? What should I do? Think about it. I'm not ready to sign yet. I need to think about it. Who should I call? Why is there a space there? And who's, who's Sam? I don't know who these people are. Well, I did say we'd call Keith as soon as we got it. So it came. You're kidding me, right? Finally. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. What's the matter? You don't sound excited. Did they change payments or something? Not exactly. The deal's still fine. They just don't want to bring Sam into the picture. Like, at all. This is still great news. Sure, you don't get everything you want, but this is it. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? So you'll have to do it without Sam. Big deal. Why can't you just take a minute to realise what an achievement this is? Um, well it's just a start. Nothing's even happened yet, all I've got is some paper. It's not even signed yet so there's nothing to get excited, excited about. Wait, you didn't sign it immediately? No, I wanted to get your opinion on the whole thing. I wouldn't hesitate honestly, this is going to be so good for you. Um, what about Sam? What about Sam? Not everything is meant for everyone. You don't have to have the resp you don't have any responsibility here, save it for yourself. It's your choice though. Whatever you want to do, I support you. I know, I love you too. I'm going to leave you to figure it out. Don't wait up for me tonight. We'll find to talk after you've made a decision. Oh, oh I, I can't even remember who Sam is. Um who should I call? I'll call Sam anyway, just in case. Can't even remember who Sam was. No, is he not picking up? We cannot complete your call. Alright. Okay then. Um, now I'll just sign it. Sure, why not? I need this deal. This is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. So Sam's going to hate us, essentially. Oh good, I didn't die. Hooray, it's day two. <laughs> and I'm not dead yet. Whoa, that dream felt so real. Ugh, far from reality though. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm going to start writing in my journal again. I completed a journal page. Thank you, okay. Um... Oh god, I can save it, I can save the game finally. Right. 
Okay. At least maybe the male's here. Okay, then we're gonna get booted out, aren't we? Whoa, deadbeats. You look even more like shit than normal. That curbside nap teach you to pay your bills yet? I'm just here to get the mail and the stuff out of my apartment, and then I'm gone. Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. You still owe me for last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those ratty old clothes and the appliances for a while. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. Oh, a deadbeat like you paying rent? Don't make me laugh. Oh yeah, before I forget, when I was when I was in there cleaning across your place for stuff, I came across something you may want to hold on to. You know, remind you of the days before your life turned to shit. Good luck. I am not gonna miss that guy. Well, that's a wedding invitation. Do I get free money? Join us in Sam San Vedana's historic faith chap. That's not how you spell chapel, is it? For a night of celebration as we join hands in holy matrimony and say our vows. Oh, lovely. You're without me not even a year and you've already moved on. More than that, you're getting married? It's at the end of the month? Jesus Christ. No, I can't get angry, I can't get up. We broke up so he can do whatever he wants. Why the hell would he invite me though? To San Vedano, no less? I love the place, but god damn that's cold. Are you testing me? What do you want? Well, at least my check's finally here. I could do with some extra cash right about now. Hooray, a publisher check. Am I no longer poor? 200, well, I've got enough money for the key at least. Something's gone really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I can get Tim in time for the wedding. Um, let's just give Larry a call. Hey, it's that dog. Hello? Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the fuck happened? Hey, I've been expecting your call. $250? Who the hell can live off of that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know the contract you signed for us that you said we would pay you as long as you produced us a book? That little paperback you, you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, the contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is now. Well, you have a wife, so I don't think your ass will be roasting in the same way that mine would be. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in a fucking alleyway last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that. You understand this is a business, though. We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potentials. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put, out, put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So, what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get the check you're holding on now. There's nothing left for you. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need money. I need to get San Vedano. San Vedano? What the hell are you doing going across, all the way across country? Keith's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss him, huh? Alright, fine, I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story, but you've got to make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and I'll come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job that I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Vedano, and I know you don't have the money for the flight, so don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours? The one you write in, what, write in every night before you go to bed? At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging it, salvaging it and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. 
But Linda's going to lose her shit if I lose this job and you already owe me plenty. Oh, fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month. Great, we've got a deal. Except for the one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. So not the $500 that I've got. Do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over at Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers. And we go way back, so any recommendation I give him is good. to apologise. High rung ad agency used to do our marketing, and I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their copywriter. I'll set up both meetings, just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days. Hooray! So after that joyous fun, I'm going to leave it here for this episode, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>